Both parents of Madeleine McCann are now considered formal suspects by the Portuguese police authorities in the disappearance, perhaps even death, of their own daughter. Kate and Jerry McCann have both been today declared erguido. Suspected of killing his daughter and disposing of her body. Earlier in the day, they'd watched as Kate McCann left after her second day of intense questioning. At the beginning of the five-hour interview, she was told she was being designated a suspect. since her daughter Madeleine disappeared whilst on a family holiday in Portugal, Kate McCann has had first-hand experience of dealing with the pain and heartbreak of having a loved one go missing. Well, whilst the search for her daughter continues, Kate is about to help launch a brand new initiative that will hopefully help find some of the thousands of people that go missing in the UK each year. And uh, Kate is here now to tell us all about it. And we were just saying you don't do many of these things on your own, do you? I don't usually have Jerry next to me, you're right. Oh, well, this is a big, a very big launch. And the launch is tomorrow, the biggest billboard campaign in British history. So how is it going to work? What is it? Well, basically, it's a 12-week nationwide campaign. And the Outdoor Media Centre, which is kind of the trade body for all the outdoor media owners, so all the people that own billboard space in mm -hmm. your cities, towns, on your public transport, They've teamed up with the charity Missing People, uh, basically to try and find missing children and adults. So starting tomorrow, across these screens, there'll be featured um, one child and one adult per week. So there'll be a photograph, the location, time when they were last seen, and a number, 116000, to call. Mm -hmm. And the idea is we know that outdoor advertising works, and we know that publicity is crucial to help find missing children, and, and it works. And that's not why it's... But not only that, it's a speed thing as well, and because these are screens, it can be updated quickly, can't it? Absolutely. The response time to change an appeal if needed. If more information comes in, they need to change it. If a child is found and they need to put another appeal up quickly, they can do that pretty much instantly. Well, there are 250,000 people go missing each year in the UK. Thankfully, the majority are found. But the heartache for the families whose missing member of the family hasn't been found is extensive and ongoing, isn't it? Obviously, it's something that you know. Yeah, it is. It's, um, I mean, not only obviously do you go through the pain and anxiety and fear, you have that relentlessness and uncertainty of, of not knowing, and, mm -hmm. and that doesn't go away. And so, uh, so this is your first official role as ambassador for, for missing people, isn't it? Is, it is, yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and so there is a, a great feeling that this open loop technology, this, the ability to update screens very quickly, um, will help certainly um, when it comes to, uh, to resolving a case. Because it, it, there is always good news. The girl who was due to feature prominently in the campaign has been found, yeah, uh, which is brilliant. fabulous, really uh, but a new child obviously is very quickly going to become the, the focus of that campaign. But campaign, it's not just children either though, is it? No, it's not. It's vulnerable adults who go missing as well. I think primarily, um, or largely, it's, it is going to be children that are featured, but there will be adults too. So I guess the idea is that if you see one of these billboards in your town centre, just stop and look. Absolutely. Because you never know, you might hold the key or some bit of information to, to help find that person. Oh, that's right. I mean, I think everyone can play a part and it's estimated that 10, mil 10 million people will actually see these boards. Mm. You know, obviously we've got the summer coming up, we've got the Olympics mm. and I guess, yeah, please stop take a look you know it's a cliche but one person can make a difference I saw all the um, tweets on that National Missing Persons Day and then the, the, the charity were tweeting every 30 minutes a picture of somebody right. that had gone missing and it was going on throughout the day that was brilliant but two people were found that day that's right two, two teenagers were found yeah. so it just goes to show actually this works it does work and I mean you can speak to the experts in the States and they can give you an example after example 
it really does work mm. and as I say everybody everybody can help. Right. Is there any chance that uh, this would this campaign if it's successful here which I'm sure it will be would be extended throughout the rest of Europe? Well certainly you know, it's an initial 12 week campaign but I think it probably will continue. Uh, it may become more regionally based. I'm not sure whether it'll extend to Europe. It'd be fantastic if it could or if there's any other companies that can come forward because you know basically the Outdoor Media Centre have you know the, the put in one million pounds towards this campaign yeah. and we do need people like that, companies, organisations in order to make initiatives like this happen. Well, you also I mean, you're active on many fronts because you've launched the European hotline as well for missing people. You launched that in May. How's that gone? Very good from what I've heard so far. There's been a lot of um, new people coming to the number whether it be by phone or email or to the website which is encouraging they've had a lot of calls on average probably about 130 calls per day wow um, each day just to that number alone obviously the other numbers are active at the moment um, but it just shows really how a campaign can you know really help that penetration and i guess having that sort of network of countries all working together again that quickness and that response is what is so important in that situation it does i mean it's a sim simple number one number to remember um, and wherever you are in Europe, in those 16 countries that so far have the number, mm. ring that number and you will end up, you know, if it's not the right place, you'll be put through straight away to the right place. So. We were saying about the, uh, the effects of a missing person on a family, this sort of far-reaching explosion that goes, that goes out throughout the whole family, this ripple effect. I was reading in the paper um, this morning that you were saying that, uh, that your, your own two children, Sean and Emily, that, that, that they, they still take an interest in the fact that other people take an interest in, in what you, you've gone through. Yeah, I mean, as a family member who has a loved one missing, I mean, it's so painful, and I think you need to know, you feel helpless, but you need to know that there's other people helping too. I mean, it just gives you great hope and strength, and there's so many families out there in, in similar positions, and, you know, this campaign itself will help all these families. Yeah. Yeah. And what about what about you? Because at DCEI, Andy Redwood, who's leading the review of the evidence in your case, uh, said his team were developing genuinely new information. Um, what are you aware of? Where is where is the case now? Well, obviously, I don't know all the information. I know, I know new information has come in that needs to be followed up, and obviously, there's a lot of information that's come um, from the files from the review as well. We're at the stage really that we're, we're hoping for the case to be reopened. So there isn't really any change uh, yeah. from where we stand since, since May. The, the p Portuguese officials, because in April the Portuguese Attorney General appeared to rule out the reopening of the, of the case. As, is, it, is it still a case of persuading them or getting them further on board? Well, I hope so. I mean, I think we felt we needed to allow more time for people to, to you know, for the authorities to, to look at the evidence, really, yeah. uh, before they made a decision. It's, uh, it's one of those things that you, you wonder, when you read the newspapers and you think, I wonder how helpful this is to the family because at the center of every big newspaper report there is a, a family that's going to be reading it and, uh, and maybe not wanting to see it uh, and, and there was the, the evidence from Stephen Birch who spent forty thousand pounds on a scanner took scans of the Pride of Luz area and said that he found a, 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 a void underneath there. Are you aware of all of that? Yeah I mean the, you know, the Met let us know about it in advance of it hitting the newspaper I guess, you know, there was no credibility to it. I mean, who is this person at the end of the day? Mm. Yeah, so. You have your own campaign this summer, don't you? And this is the luggage tags. Well, I mean, we're just carrying on basically what we've done the last few years, mm. really, when people go on holiday in the summer, we're saying, please, you know, take some posters, take some luggage tags. Yeah. As, you knew, we had, as you know, we had a new age progression produced. Yes, um, yes this is it. In April, uh, and this is it here. And, uh, and you know, and it's the same basis really for this campaign. It's so important to get an image out there. Mm. You know, as I say, there'll be 10 million people viewing the images that go mm. up on these billboards. Mm. The same with Madeline. The more people that you reach, you know, the greater your chance you are of finding that child. Well, as we said, tomorrow is the big launch. Uh, it's the, uh, as, as we said at the, at the very beginning, the biggest billboard campaign in British history. And, uh, and as Kate was saying, just take a couple of minutes to look up and see mm. whether or not you uh, recognise or you can help any of the people that will appear on these billboards. And thank you very much indeed. Oh, for, thank you. Uh, thank you. Not at all. Thank, thank you. you very much. If you would like any help or information on anything we've just discussed, then you can find details of helplines and all the numbers that we were talking about as well on our website, itv.com forward slash this morning. We'll be back after the break.